video or else today's video is gonna be all about this makeup look as you might have guessed from the title it's a bridal makeup look I think that it turned out very 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 pretty I'm really happy how, with how it turned out it's similar to what I would wear on my wedding day if I would ever wear because you know it's not in my plans to wear but anyways it's similar to what I would personally want to wear to know me know how much I'm into eyeliner like eyeliner is my thing but for my wedding day I think I would probably wear eyeliner just a little tiny cat eye but for this look I really want it to be you know that classic timeless look so I didn't wear any eyeliner I avoided lots of black on my eyes because I wanted you know a clean not a clean a subtle eye look I did apply lashes but it's up to you as well I suggest you apply lashes because they change the whole look this is my take on bridal makeup it doesn't mean that it, this is the look for bridal makeup it's just my personal preference go lighter and you could go darker it's all up to you it's all up to the person but for me I think that this is the like you know glamorous subtle smooth kind of makeup you know it's very glowy I think that every bride want to look glowy on her wedding day because it kind of you know shows what she feels inside like happiness and stuff so I really wanted you know some highlighted areas on my face you see more in my tutorial I use my sleek highlighter which you see later on but yeah this is the makeup look I have also this just sort to mimic the veil this is just a top I don't have a veil of course I don't but please do keep on watching if you want to see how I did this makeup look and yeah see you later hello from my birthday self okay so first I'm gonna start by using a makeup academy oil control primer um, if you're doing this makeup for your wedding day you want you would want to start with a primer or with a moisturizer that you trust because you want your makeup to last all day I will be also using an eyeshadow primer just to make sure that my eyeshadow doesn't increase and will the colors kind of pop more so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now Passing on to eyebrows, I'm using this Catrice Eyebrow Stylist. I'm trying to go softer on the inner part just because it's a bright and makeup look and it's a softer kind of look, so I'm trying to go softer on that area rather than, you know, my usual brow shape kind of brow shape, but get what I'm saying. Um, if I were to apply my makeup on my wedding day, I would definitely use my MAC and my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade and brow gels just because they give you a more defined look and they stay all day but for this tutorial I'm using this eyebrow pencil and now I'm applying my Catrice eyebrow lifter and underneath my brow bone to highlight and to look kind of to make the look look more bright and awake and I'm going in with this makeup geek eyeshadow in peach smoothie this will be our first color to start off it's a peach kind of warm neutral color and I'm warming my eyelids with this color I'm concentrating on buffing on the crease um, yeah and then I'm using this shadow in creme brulee and I'm applying that in the outer V of my eye and always going upwards and always blending and buffing that is the most crucial part from the whole look I have spent like I don't know ridiculous amount of time blending but it's all also worth it because the colors like are seamless together rather than their harsh lines and stuff like that and yeah, I'm doing the same on the other eye now I'm using this makeup geek eyeshadow in cocoa bear and I'm applying that as you can see on the upper lash line and I'm slightly mo moving towards the outer corner as well and I'm always puffing and blending now I will be using this eyeshadow it's called Bada Bing it's a beautiful shadow and I'm applying that on the upper lash line as well just to darken up the look a bit step by step just so that we don't overdo it and I'm slightly pulling that up on the crease as well and for this I, I was using a makeup academy angled brush eyeshadow angled brush and I'm applying this Giordana black eyeliner black coal on my upper lash line as well and don't worry it's better if it's messy because it will blend even more nicely than if it's perfectly applied 
and yeah, I'm just blending that with an eyebrow angled brush and I'm making sure that on the outer part it's more dark than on the inner part Now I'm using this essence eyeshadow to highlight the inner corners of my eyes This is a shimmery eyeshadow, that's why I'm using this just on the inner corner You will, you will be seeing me use you will be seeing me, it's weird, but anyway, I will be using a matte eyeshadow underneath the brow bone just because it's for a wedding and I don't want anything extravagant, I want everything smooth and classic and elegant and subtle. That's why I'm using a matte color underneath my brow bone, and even on the um, you know, on the waterline, I'm not applying black, I don't want any black, I'm applying this um, Jordana eyeshadow stick yes it's in continuous almond and it's gonna make my eyes look more open and bright and fresh and yeah for foundation I'm mixing two foundations this I've been loving this combo lately and I am applying that on my face and you know I'm using my flat top kabuki brush to apply that Yeah, I've applied a second coat on areas where I felt like I need most coverage which is on my mouth area and on my chin area and yeah, and now I'm grabbing my sponge and I'm making sure that everything is blended and buffed in nicely and now I'm using my Max Factor pen stick it's like a concealer on my spots and yeah I will be passing on to my NYX HD concealer in porcelain underneath my eyes I'm applying that in a triangular shape to highlight I'm playing a bit on my forehead and on my chin and on my cupid's bow and I'm using my sponge to blend everything in. Highlighter. I'm using this eBay highlighter. It's a bright white highlighter. I'm applying this with a sponge. I'm applying this heavily at first. Sponge with a sponge. I'm applying this heavily at first, but then after I'm done with my makeup, I will make sure to um, set that properly with my big brush you'll see later on and I've retouched my eyebrows because with the foundation you can move some stuff around and I'm using this Makeup Academy um, mascara brow mascara whatever just to seal everything in and as you can see i've moved the product around kind of with a q-tip just because with a spoolie it can move the product quite a lot around and i didn't want that but anyways i'm using the shade cocoa bear underneath my lower lash line and now i'll be passing on to mascara i'm using this l'oreal telescopic mascara Please excuse me, I have just woke up and I don't know what I'm saying, but I really want this video up as soon as possible. So yeah, I'm just using the mascara to coat my lashes with just one coat because I will be applying lashes. Um, I've also applied this mascara on my lower lash lines as well. And yeah, now I will be using this Jordana lip liner, which is one of my favorite. It's a classic kind of pinky mauve, but it's still a very natural color, wearable, and it suits everyone. And yeah, I'm applying that. On my lips and now I will be using one of these but I'm going for the golden rose one over the YSL one because it's more nude and I want a nude lip rather than a brown lip so I'm applying that all over my lips and I'm making sure that my lip liner is blended because I don't want it to really stand out but I want an even kind of look and yeah now I'm applying lashes on my eyelashes of course um, this step it's kind of personal, like you can apply lashes, you can skip that step, but I mean, without lashes, this is me with both lashes on, lashes take your look to a whole different level and I suggest that on your wedding day especially, you apply lashes. And yeah, I just um, tight line my eyes, I'm applying a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line, and yeah, now I will be buffing that under eye highlighter out, as you can see, the effect is beautiful.
Now as a bronzer and as a contour, I'm using my L'Oreal Glam Bronze Powder and I'm applying that on my forehead and on my cheekbones, on my jawline and even a little bit of my neck and on my collarbones. Just to add a bit, little bit of definition, I'm using my NARS ETA brush dupe which I'm obsessed with. I will feature that in a video very soon. And yeah, that was the contour and the bronzing kind of part. And now I'm applying blush. I've chosen a kind of natural blush because it complements this look very very nicely this is the first time that i've used this blush and i love it i got it in the swap that i did with Vinny. Vinny, and yeah i'm applying it on my cheekbones and as a highlight i will be using my sleek palette this is a cream highlight i decided to use a cream highlight over um, a powder highlight just because i want a little bit of more of a dewy glowy kind of look um, i know that the foundation is a matte foundation but Kind of as it starts to you know to wear not to wear out because it lasts all day it's a very good foundation combo but I will have a little bit of shine on my face natural kind of shine which I don't kind of remove or anything because I like it so that's why I didn't go for a dewy foundation because my skin can get a little bit oily okay guys so this is the finished look I hope you found this video helpful if maybe you don't know what you're going for as a makeup look for your wedding or if you're gonna do the makeup yourself I know there are lots of people who do their makeup themselves I would like to do the makeup myself if I don't do it myself there is only one local makeup artist that I would want him to make my makeup anyways yeah I hope you enjoyed watching um, I really wanted to go for a classic neutral shade very smoky, very blended it's not like there are any harsh lines or anything. No eyeliner, no black eyeliner. I think that these colors complement everyone, every skin tone, every eye color, every hair color, everything because they are neutral brown colors, kind of, you know, subtle smooth colors. And yeah, please thumbs up this video if you really did enjoy it. And please do hit that subscribe button. See you!